Greetings from Terry D Lab. Once again, I'm working on my favorite devices, solid state stuff. Why did I ever work on tube stuff? I don't know. These are so much more fun. And tonight, I'm featuring this wine bottle here, which is Dino Mite, right? Boom. So let me show you what's wrong with this thing. And hopefully, if I haven't drank too much wine, I'll be able to fix it. Well, here's the issue. After a few minutes, the screen starts flashing. Is it? I would say so. This is a common problem, pretty easy to fix on the Rocktron Expressions, Voodoo Valves, and several other units using this fluorescent display. Let me show you how to fix it. First up, of course, take the power cord off the unit so she's nice and dead. Then, we're going to pull the face, and the culprit is right behind that display. So what we're going to do is just remove the face. We're not going to remove the back shell on this thing. You'll see why. So we've got the face taken off. Always set them up this way so I don't lose these washers. Behind the display, you're going to see this capacitor right here. Now on this model, it's identified as C17. It may be different on other models. But this little capacitor is part of the display driver power supply. He starts leaking and causes the flashing. So we're going to swap that out and that will fix it. So the reason I only removed the face is because right there are the two leads for the cap. But the other reason is you envision the face on here. Even if you pull the back shell, you still can't get to the cap. So I found it's easier to pop the face off and you can get right to it. There he is, little 10 microfarad cap. We're going to change that out and we'll take a look at the display. New caps installed, powered up. Display looks good, nice and bright. Boot up. Bam, there she is. Ready to go. Let's get the front panel back on. Front panel is successfully reinstalled after about four attempts. What you got to watch out for is these little LEDs. They all got to poke out of their holes, and they have a tendency to want to, like, fold back on you. So make sure those are aligned, and put her back together. It should be good. So another successful Solid State Cinema Studio production by D-Lab Electronics. And the other good thing is, I killed that bottle of Dino Mite Wine. So you might say, Boy, you know, you already knew that was wrong. That was too easy for you. Well, yeah, it's because I've done a bunch of these repairs. This is a common fault. So if you have this issue, now you know where to look. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.